Hi, I'm Erin and this is our craft table. And I'm laying down here on the floor right now because I'm actually working on a project with shower curtain rings, shower curtain liner, both that I got from the Dollar Tree, and duct tape. And I'm just using these actually to make a window treatment for one of my windows in my house. Um, I got the idea because I was looking at something online, I think, and I saw these beautiful curtains that were red and white in a uh, candy cane type of design. And I thought, well, that would be really cute to do. And I tried to think of all the different ways that I could do it. Um, you know, I could have gotten some really nice curtains and painted them and, uh, gosh, I could have gotten some ribbon and, you know, done something like that. But the more I thought about it, I just thought that's number one, probably going to be a little bit expensive, and number two, probably going to take a whole bunch of time. So I thought, I think I can find all this stuff at the Dollar Tree. Well, I was able to find the shower curtain liners and the um, rings, but they did not have any red duct tape, so I had to go to Walmart to get the duct tape. So I basically laid the shower curtain down on the floor and just started making the little stripe design and I thought it worked out pretty well and then I put the second shower curtain on top so that I could make sure it matched the pattern underneath for the um, the one that I did earlier because these these shower curtains aren't going to be right next to each other they'll be on either side of my window but I want to make sure they still kind of line up so I did that. I have one more duct tape line to do. So let me go ahead and do that and um, show you the rest of the project. Okay, so that part's done. I have my design all taken care of. And what I did with the shower curtain liners, I mean rings, is I wrapped those in duct tape too. So, um, I'm taking about three, maybe four inches of duct tape, and then I'm gonna cut that in half lengthwise. Okay, so now I have two long strips. I'm gonna cut these in half again too, because I want the strips to be pretty thin. And then I just took the shower curtain ring and just wrapped it around. And I'm doing this because I want half of the rings to be red and half just to be white. Um, you could certainly duct tape all of these to turn them red or whatever color you want to do. But I just wanted to kind of mimic that, um, that striped feeling of the candy cane also with the shower curtain rings and I don't want to I don't want to make it too obvious that it's shower curtain rings this is something that I'm doing for a window treatment you know just for fun it's not something I would keep up year long it's not like you know actually um, I don't I mean I don't know actually I think it might look really cool but I don't think that it would be um, easy to explain if I had one of my friends or family come over and say, Are, do you have shower curtains hanging up in your living room? <laughs> that might be kind of weird throughout the year. I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on how nice the shower curtain is, but these shower curtain liners are just, you know, plastic and obviously a shower curtain liner. So <laughs> I wouldn't recommend keeping it up all the time, but for right now, I think it's a cute little way to make the room look festive. So I think it's going to turn out nicely. I've never done this before, but I just I have a feeling it's going to look pretty good. This is probably the hardest part, just wrapping this around over and over and over again, just because it's so tedious. 
Um, it's, it's like when I did the wrapped um, gingerbread man ornaments with the holographic tape get done after a little while. It doesn't take that long. And, you know, I just started watching a Christmas movie when I was doing this so I wouldn't get too bored of just doing it over and over and over again. But, um, you know, now it's done. So now that I'm done, I'm going to go hang up my candy cane window treatment and see how it looks. And so this is what it looks like up. I think it turned out really well. Um, you know, it's reminiscent of a candy cane. It's not exactly a candy cane, but I think you can kind of tell what I'm going for here. And along with other decorations in the house being red and white and things like this in this particular area, I think it looks really nice. So um, I have it here in front of some lights that I hung up. The um, curtain rod was already here. It was left here by my landlord. Um, no curtains though, so we just have blinds. But it looks kind of, you know, it just looks kind of dry and bland with just the blinds. And I hadn't taken down the curtain rods yet because I was thinking I'd probably wrap them with garland or wrap them with lights. And here you can see I wrap them with lights. And now putting these little curtains over here, it just warms it up a little bit. I just think it makes it look a little bit more homey, not so much, you know, just you know, just a plain, boring window. And that's an issue that we have with a lot of windows here. They don't have any, um, they don't have any window treatments, just blinds, which these are really nice blinds that we got, but you know, they just don't have any warmth. So I'm going to have to think in the future what I'm going to do to actually treat these windows. But for right now, I think this is a pretty good window treatment. Um, and it didn't cost very much at all. So it was a dollar for the liner, a dollar for the shower curtain rings, and then again a dollar, a dollar. So that's four. And then the duct tape, that was the part that was expensive and I had to get that from Walmart. Um, but I think it was 20 yards. It was it was a lot, and I used almost all of it. Um, but those, let's just say they were four dollars. They were three something. So let's round it up to four, since you have to include tax and everything. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve dollars for a nice little Christmas window treatment. That's not too bad. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for what I can do for window treatments that won't be too expensive, that'll help warm up the place a little bit after I have to take these down when Christmas is over. Um, but I do really appreciate that you guys are watching and subscribing, and I hope that you like this project. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until the next time, see you later. Bye.